Today, I'm going to encourage you to run your own race. Yes, life is a race, and I'm here to help you run and win. The finish line is what we need to talk about, winning together. I always like to give a fast track tip, and the first one is that I want to encourage you to press on to the finish line, and then we can celebrate together. We must leave everything behind that stumped us, that trips us, that holds us back and gets in the way between us and Jesus. Do you want to get your prize and win? Then you have to leave sin behind you and walk away now. There is no other way. Do you, did you know that in your life's race, you're surrounded at all times by a great cloud of witnesses, not a small cloud, but a great cloud of witness. And they're all there. All the previous saints have passed away, great men and women of faith, such as David, Jacob, Abraham, Esther, Deborah, Mary, Rebecca. They see all of our ups and downs and our trials and tribulations. And they cheer us, they're cheering us on. They celebrate our wins. They celebrate us as we finish our race in victory, just as they did. We, you are not alone. Isn't that wonderful? I have fought the good fight and I have finished the race and I kept the faith. 2 Timothy 4, 7. That's the ESV version. Here are some of my life's race reflections that I like to help, that would help me along the way in my life's race. Other than Jesus, who is the one character in the Bible you would like to have run your race with you? What might they say to encourage you? To arrive to the finish line. Hi, my name is Jeannie Rodriguez and you are a runner in this life's race. So don't you give up. You will win. See you at the starting line.